Okay guys, so welcome back and today we are looking at um, the selection tools again and we are looking at particularly this time the lasso tool. So what I have here is an image and what we're going to do is try and extract um, the hand and the cassette up here. So how we are going to do that is by using the lasso tool. So the lasso tool is a selection tool so basically what I have here selected is the lasso and if I click and I drag it selects the area that I want targeted right now as we discussed before the selections once you see the marching ants a selection has been made and basically um, we our only concern is this area so select the select that because first step is always to duplicate the background copy so we know in case we mess up we always have the original back there there's also file revert um, to go back to square one right but this is easier since you could track your progress so the lasso tool so if I go in and try and make a tight selection it because I'm not yeah I'm kind of deliberately doing that too but the selection isn't always going to be let's say we make a selection like that if, if we take the time we could do it probably a little tighter but you if you notice let me zoom in the selections are a little bit off right and select deselect and that is a problem because you want a nice a nicer selection than that now the lasso tool is ideal for some situations right but let's look at the polygon lasso tool right so the polygonal lasso tool um, we click and what this does instead of if you notice the lasso tool is really a free drawing or free moving tool um, the poly polygonal is basically lines we know polygon is a straight sided figure so basically the polygon works like this so this will help better in that we have straight lines in this object so we can easily just start clicking here and get a nice straight line to this point here but there's a curve here so you know we won't get that curvature as you want but we could click to add the points now this selection works pretty good until you start messing up right and if in case you mess up and you drop an anchor point somewhere that you don't right let's drop one out here what you could do instead of starting over the selection right you could just hit backspace on your keyboard or delete on the Mac and it will go back to the previous anchor point so now we could click and start clicking and add in here right again this is not the best one um, to use but I just want to show you what these tools do and how um, effective they are sometimes right so when you finish made that selection let's make a selection very quick here right oh man Let, let's make a selection right when we come back around we can either double click and it will join at the shortest route or we could come around at the point where we started let me just do that quickly for you oops let's see we want this area you'll see this little let me zoom in so you'll see it this little O icon appear at the bottom of the whatever tool you're using is it if it's the lasso or polygonal lasso and that is basically to complete the selection so if I click it it joins back at the point here and we have a selection that we made right select deselect now again 
we have what we want to do with this object here is remove both hand and um, cassette right so so far the polygonal lasso is working okay but let's go down to the magnetic lasso and in the magnetic lasso you can see with contrast frequency right and these are the settings um for how the pixels are selected by the magnetic lasso so what the magnetic lasso does it works with contrast of the image so for example um let's look at um make drop an anchor point here right and if you notice as i move there are points that's dropping i'm not clicking right and it's automatically picking up the pixels right so i double click there select the select so if we select on the edge of the black and we move up right you can see that it runs in to this area here because my hand has gone into the cassette a little bit so what this requires is a steady hand and if you want to force an anchor point you just click it and that way we could just move up very quickly and come around this curve and if you notice I don't have to be that precise as the lasso because it gives some room for mistakes right it's very forgiving so here I am just selecting right around this object here and there we go we have a selection now if we zoom in we will see that there's a bit here that isn't selected properly so what we could do is go to the magnetic lasso again or even we could try the lasso tool let's go to the lasso tool and add the selection because this is our selection going and what we're going to do we're going to add to this selection here so we're going to see we're going to add to this bit here and it doesn't matter if I, I go in here because this is within the selection itself and come out right here so you see straighten up the line here and this bit is outside so we're gonna subtract from selection like that and tighten up our selections you can see how close the pixels are selected with the magnetic glass so we could go around the object so in an area like this now we could see that you know the reflection hasn't been picked up well so again we're going to add the selection I'm going to go to my lasso tool because I'm zooming kind of tight and kind of kind of select everything here put me like this yeah that looks about okay and we could come around come around come around right Mm. yeah this looks a little rough so we're gonna add the selection here again I think it came out a little too much so we're gonna subtract from the selection just where the black is oops let's just go over the D right there right all right so we have our selection made here and what we could do is um, mask it off right by hitting the mask button and you could see the selection is made right so what um, we could do is try and select the hand now so we could now go down and let's say let's let's leave this here for now and let's go down and duplicate this copy um, not sure what happened there. duplicate this copy again and we are going now to select the hand on the separate one so we could we could have we could have easily selected both but we are go down select the hand with the magnetic tool 
magnetic lasso tool and just go around let's go back right so we could I we could have put these on on a single layer but we, c we could also put it on two separate layers so we could have made we could have add to the selection right there and then when we finish made our first selection All right so let's just come across here and complete this selection whoops complete this complete this selection so as you can see it's a rough selection and what we could do again is zoom in and start cleaning it up with the let we could use the pol polygonal lasso lasso tool i like to use the lasso tool and we could add the selection and these little selections were made by i don't know why and just come right down here like that and grab the space bar and move around Right. This looks a little untidy for some reason, so let's try and tidy it up. Right. So we could go around and check. You can see his hand is cut off here, so we're gonna add this selection above here again. Um this bit looks a little weird. Try and get that kind of smooth look. Right subtract from selection it's hard to tell where his hands is actually because of the, the background right yeah um you know what we could uh, let's add to this properly Right, mm, that looks okay. We're gonna subtract from this area here. So we're gonna just take it here. And uh, this looks like it. So what I'm doing is just adding and subtracting to selections here just to make these selections a little better. Right, make it look a little more natural. Um, let's add to this selection here. And here. Oops, I think I make a mistake here. Um, subtract from this selection here. We can see that the pixels are not what it's supposed to be. And here too. Oops, sad bag this bit. Yeah. There are easier ways to do what I'm doing here. But for this purpose, I'm just showing you the, how these tools work and how to extract objects using the lasso tools, right? And I wouldn't say there are easier ways, but there are cleaner ways of making selections than going through um, this kind of str whoops. Uh, hit select I uh, um subtract from selection sub so add there. Right? So we can come up here, see the thumb here, just gonna subtract from this bit here. I just keep missing this part. Right, there you go. Yeah, let's leave it as that. Oh my goodness. Right so yeah, oh lord. Mm -hmm. Right, let's work with that. So now we have the hand and now we're going to mask it again. So now we have the hand layer, let's call this hand and cassette. Right, so we have the two layers here turn on this one as you could see here 
there is an error in the hand layer and I did that deliberately so you could go back and look at the masking what we covered before now because you want this area totally gone and the mask is black and white you can see that the white reveals and the black hides so what we can do is simply go to our paintbrush select black let's flip this around all right and paint with black and now we paint with black it's at a hundred percent I could just erase this mask this piece of hand and let's put back this one so there we have both of them extracted and there's a image here let's try and drag these Im also the, the colors won't match select both of them and drag it into this image here so that way we could see one all the errors and two how well ha our selection has been made now you can look here and see that hey um, the hand looks a little choppy on this side and you can see bits are white let's not look at the tones right now because that's not what we um we're gonna cover today but we are gonna look at the selections itself see so selection here is a little harsh on this side and choppy so let's go back and let's go back to the hand <coughs> now to get back the selections what we could do is hold command on the keyboard and select the mask and I would select the area that is painted here so the in our other words our mask and what I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate this copy again duplicate the background copy I'm going to take off the hand and say hand 2 call this hand 2 hand 2 right um, let's take this this color off <coughs> and what I'm going to do here is go to select and modify and I'm going to go to something called feather and feathering is basically softening the edges so if I choose a feather radius of let's say 20 right I just want to do this to show to demonstrate what feather does and it's okay and now I mask you can see that the feather softens the edges of the hand and softens it really um, like a airbrush effect right so this is not what we want so undo and undo feather right and I'm going back to hand 2 with the feather selected and now I'm going to do a modify feather and let's do 3 pixels instead of it. ok and now we can mask it and you can see now it's softened just enough and if we were to pull this image let's um, delete these two images if we were to pull these two let, first off let's look at the comparison this hand versus this hand um, oops yeah this hand see see how it soft see how it softens on the edge here eh? yeah so that is what feather does right and let's um try and um, let's delete this yeah. let's try and pull this across by selecting both of them C click and drag i know we did duplicate last time and get expand hold shift and expand and there we go looks a little better um and here we have the soft edges but again the hand still isn't selected prop um cleanly enough for my taste but that is basically how you use the lasso tools in photoshop with add adding selection subtracting from selections using that in combination and actually they are very quick to make quick selections because if you notice the inorganic shape here was um, selected very easily and very well
as opposed to the hand where you had these contours and, and curves going on that um, became challenging right so there you have it if you um, need to practice I suggest that you practice with the um, the marquee tools and the lasso tools together just to figure out how to make these selections now once you have a selection going right for example we have the cassette here right let's see like cassette and we could easily go into again like image adjustments and hue and saturation and you know change up the colors of this within the image because we've selected it right um, so we could do something like that instead right but um, for all intents and purposes we now know how the lasso tools work together with the add and select so I'll see you in the next one